Today, I'm gonna to show you how to color grade your photos and then batch apply them in Lightroom. Let's go ahead and jump in. We've got an entire series of images that you can download to follow along. Just click on the link right down below. So here we are in Lightroom and you can see we've got beautiful, beautiful photos all taken in a series and oftentimes we wanna color grade these. So first thing we're gonna do is click on one of our images and hit D for the develop module. Now in this case, we're gonna be using the all new color grading feature. So if you see something like your basic adjustments, totally okay, we can go ahead and close those down and just go to color grading. We're gonna give you a tour around how the color grading works, but there are basically a few different ways in which you can color grade your photos. So the first way is what's called the three up view. This is the default and it's gonna allow you to adjust your midtones, your shadows, and your highlights all within the same menu. You can also click on these icons right over here and just change your shadows, your midtones or your highlights. And then you can just do global adjustments, which is going to apply the same color to your entire image. The effect has a little bit less control and I personally don't wind up using it as much. Let's go over to this tricolor where we can see our shadows, midtones and highlights at the same time. So here's our tricolor adjustments, just these three dots. And as you can see, we have a little slider here in the middle that I can drag around and start to change some colors. Let's go ahead and bring this over to the blue side. Now, down at the bottom, we have a slider here, and this is gonna make my midtones, in this case, because I'm actually working with my midtones, it's gonna make my midtones lighter or my midtones darker. So this is basically changing the lightness, and this is changing the color. Now, we also have an option here for a little eyeball, and if you click and press that, it's just gonna show you before and after. Now, before we get into our other sliders, there are a couple things to draw attention to. One, is if you hold Alt or Option, we can see now it says Reset Midtones, Reset Shadows, Reset Highlights, and then just to Reset All. So if I wanted to just make some drastic changes here and say, you know what, I wanna reset all, I can hold Alt or Option, click here, and it's gonna reset everything back to my default value. You also have a few keyboard shortcuts that are gonna allow you to have a little bit more control when you're moving these. So the first one is, as I click and drag, you're gonna see this moves pretty quickly, changing through my hues and my saturations. But if I hold Alt or Option, it simply goes slower, which allows you for more fine tune adjustments. I simply can't make it go as fast. So Alt or Option is for fine tune adjustments. Now, if I click on this and hold Shift, it's just gonna change my saturation. So if I like the color that I'm working with, I love this magenta, I just wanna make it more or less saturated, I'm gonna hold Shift to do that, okay? And if I click on Control or Command when, when I click on this little dot, it's simply gonna change my hue while keeping my saturation the exact same. And in general, my suggestion is to keep things on the relatively subtle side. So I like to bring things a little bit closer to the center, okay? You can just also turn the entire effect on by going to this little slider here and just clicking this off and then back on. It'll just give you a preview of what it looks like before and after. Let's go ahead and hit reset here and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and bring up our highlights. So we're just gonna bring those a little bit towards yellow. There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. Bring our, sorry, that was our midtones. Let's do our highlights the same. I wanna bring our highlights a little bit on the warm side and then our shadows. We're just gonna bring those a little bit on the cool side. You know what? I'm finding here that this is kind of like a fun, like summer image. Let's just play around with it. Let's get our midtones over towards green a little bit. We're in a park, we're having fun. I think this is looking really, really nice. So there we have our main adjustments. Now down at the bottom, we have two different sliders. We have a slider that says blending and one that says balance. So the top slider for blending basically is like how much of this effect you want to apply to your image. So if I bring this all the way to the right here, we can see I have a little bit of a stronger effect. If I bring it to the left, we have less of a strong effect. Now you can hold Alt or Option and click and drag on these and it's just gonna kinda exaggerate those effects and show you a little bit more of what you have. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna leave that in the middle. Now balance affects whether it's gonna be more visible in the highlights or in the shadows. So if I bring this over to the right, you can see my highlights are starting to take over. As we saw, we have a little bit of red in our highlights and now we have even more red in our image. If I take this and drag this to the left, you're gonna see it's gonna push a little bit more towards green and a little bit more towards yellow, which makes sense because that's what we did with our shadows and our midtones. 
Also, you can hold Alt or Option and click on this and it's gonna give you a little bit more of a like exaggerated version of what it's actually doing. So you can find where you think looks good, let go, and there you have your nice adjustment. So now that we've applied this to one of our photos, let's hit G to get back to our grid view. We've applied that to this image. Now let's say we want this same exact effect to be applied to all of them. Well, I'm gonna hit Control or Command A. Now, as we can see, this image that we just edited here, the border is really light gray, okay? But now I've selected these other images and they're a little bit darker gray. So this is kind of like our main image that it's going to draw the information from, okay? So because this image is selected, I went ahead and hit Control and Command A to select all the others, but they're gonna take the attributes from the one you first select. So that's selected. We're gonna go right down here to where it says sync settings. It's gonna be on the very bottom right of your screen. Sync settings, we're gonna start by hitting check none, and then we have an option here for color grading. So let's go ahead and just turn that color grading option on and then hit synchronize. And it's gonna go through and it's gonna apply the same color settings to all of the images in this series. And as you can see, let's just go ahead and click on another version image here. I'm gonna to go to my develop module and here our color grading is the exact same as it was before. I can turn this off and back on again. So I do recommend doing this a few times, especially if you're gonna do this in a series of photos. Make sure you do it a couple of times and find out whether this works well for an entire series. And again, if I wanted to change this, let's go back to this image. I can go back to my color. There we go. And I can say, you know what, my shadows here, I'm gonna just make these a little bit towards red, that's looking really, really good. In my midtones, I'm gonna just take the green out. So I'm gonna hold, there we go. Let's hold down Alt or Option to make it nice and subtle. And let's just take the green out. I think that's gonna look a little bit better. And you can apply these to some of your images, or again, you can apply them to the entire batch using sync settings. So to top this off, here's another quick tip that I love. It's called creating virtual copies. So in this case, let's go ahead and right click on this image. I'm gonna go down to where it says, create a virtual copy. There we go. Now I have two of the exact same image here, side by side, and they don't take up any more space on your hard drive. It's kind of like a reference photo, but this image, check this out. I could go into my develop module. I can hold Alt or Option and reset this. And then I can simply bring in whatever I want. So if I want my midtones, let's just kind of move these around. And my suggestion is just kind of click and drag and hold Alt or Option and kind of move it around while taking a look at your image, right? These little sliders down here are great, but honestly, what really matters is your image. Like, do I like what it's doing to my image or not? Like, is it improving or not improving my photograph? That's usually the big tell. Okay. So there we go, I've got a completely different version. Now I'm gonna go hit G, G to my grid view, and then I can click on the two of those and I can hit C for my compare view. And then I can see which one do I like better? Do I like the one on the left or do I like the one on the right a little bit better? And in this case, I actually like the one on the left. So I'm gonna give that a five stars. And then I'm gonna say, oh, you know what? That was my second edit. So why don't I hit Controller Command A, I'm gonna go to sync settings, and then I'm gonna go to color grading and then hit synchronize there as well. That virtual copy option is a great way to try a few different color grading and then compare and contrast them and see which ones you like the best. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys are on YouTube, give it a big thumbs up. It helps that algorithm push our content a little closer to the top and helps us create more free content for you every single week. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us your comments right down below. Thanks again, I'll learn you later. Bye everyone. Dig a 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 dig a